Welcome to the Archaea Network Backup Demonstration. The duration of this video tutorial is approximately 9 minutes. In this time, we will show you how easy it is to configure a backup and to restore and how powerful Archaea is. There are three major kinds of resources to be defined by the administrator. What to backup, the definition of the data to be backed up, this is called the save pack. On what to back up to. The set of tapes to back up the save packs to. This is called the tape pool. Where to back up. The set of drives used to back up the save pack. This is called the drive pack. To add an Archaea client, it is sufficient to install and configure the Archaea package on the client computer. It is also possible to add the Archaea client from the user interface. The creation of a save pack is quite simple. It is done in just a few mouse clicks. You have only to provide a name for that save pack and the data that will be backed up. We strongly suggest using names for the save pack which really describes the data to be saved rather than a nondescript one. The save pack is created. Now we need to add trees to be saved. Let's configure a user's home directory to be backed up. The save pack is now ready to be used in a back. The creation of the tape pool is also very simple. We suggest using names which describe the backup strategy. The tape pool is created. Now we have to add tapes within the created tape pool. As we have seen previously, the name must be relevant. We select the correct tape technology and the current tape pool. We may also create several Archaea tapes at once. The tape pool is now ready to be used in the backup job. The creation of the drive pack starts with the hardware detection. Archaea Network Backup is able to detect the backup device connected to a server. Now we will create the tape drive that will be included by the drive pack. As we have seen previously, the name should be as relevant as possible to the storage peripheral. We suggest using names which describe the backup device technology and the manufacturer. The tape drive is created.
Now, we need to effectively create the drive pack with the just created tape drive. The drive pack is now ready to be used in a backup job. Once all the Archaea objects, save pack, tape pools, and drive pack have been defined, we can now run an interactive backup or configure a scheduled backup. Select the save pack, drive pack, and pool for the backup. Other parameters may be adjusted to the desired values. The backup is now started. The monitor backup screen displays information about the progress of the running backup. Archaea provides several reports about the backup, about the restoration, and for all other Archaea features. The backup reports show the list of backups done and their logs. Archaea offers a powerful browsing tool that allows navigation in the backup history. The time sliders allow you to select a specific backup to restore, or you can select a range of backups between two selected backup dates. Available machines for restoration are displayed. It is easy to select a whole machine, directories, or files to be restored using the database navigator. Use the drop-down list to configure the ability to restore backed-up files from an original path, called Source, to a different path, called Destination. The restore is now started. The Monitor Restoration screen displays information about the progress of the running restoration. We hope that you have enjoyed this Archaea demonstration. We invite you to discover other Archaea videos about Archaea products and features. If you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to get in touch with our sales or support team. Thank you.